Beats X came out just a couple days ago, and they sold out at every Apple store, and I wanted to put them up against the earpods, but first, let's take a look in the packaging. The first thing we see are the Beats X themselves, which are already charged to 85%. Underneath those, we have a couple size ear wings and ear tips to better fit your ears. This packaging also contains some paperwork, and on the back, there's a pouch and a lightning cable. If you're buying ear pods separate from your actual iPhone, they just come in this little white box. These are the lightning connector ear pods, but the sound is basically the same on the ones without them. So if you want to get these, there's really not going to be much of a difference. If you get them free with your iPhone or you pay the $30, these are still some of the best earbuds around. They look the exact same when you open up your iPhone, so let's just skip this part. If for some reason you've never seen these before, here they are. There's nothing too crazy about them, but let's get into the comparison. Alright, so I listened to both the Beats X and the EarPods back and forth for about 30 minutes, so now I can give you a little bit of my review and what I think about the sound quality. So first impressions were kind of bad because I didn't stick them in my ear far enough, which is kind of uncomfortable for me because they don't really fit that well, even with the other ear tips. And I wasn't hearing all of the sound. And if the beats aren't positioned right in your ears, then you're not going to be able to hear the bass very well. And the sound is going to be very flat. Everybody's different, but for me, it seems like the AirPods and the EarPods are the perfect fit. One of the other things I don't really like is the size of the cable. I think it's a little bit too long because when you put the earphones in your ear, you have this weird looking loop around and it just doesn't look very right. Probably the best thing about the Beats X is that they come with three free months of Apple Music. Now, if you like the Beats or not, even if you return them, you can keep these three months of Apple Music. When it comes to the earpods, there's really nothing that really bothers me about them except for the cable. But why should I pay five times more just for wireless connectivity and a couple other little features like a little bit of bass? I mean, it's just really not worth it yet. And until we start seeing this more and more, I think that you should just stick to your regular wired earbuds because they're just better, really, all around, especially for saving money. And most of this is really just my own opinion. And I understand that everybody's ears are very different. If the ear pods don't fit in your ears, then that means that you need to look for something different. And that's where these might come into play. My best advice I could give to you is if you're torn between a couple different pairs of earbuds, if they're wireless or wired, just buy them at the same time and listen to both and see what you really like. And whichever one you don't like, you can return them. If I had to pick a true winner here, I would definitely have to pick the ear pods. Although they still have a wire and maybe they don't have the best sound, I think for the price and the sound quality that they do have, they're good. And I think that you should wait a little bit longer to go wireless. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and it made your decision a little bit easier. If you liked it, please leave a like. And if you care to, please subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.